Another day in paradise. Huh, Luna? Wow, what a lifestyle, Luna. Huh? Sleeping all night with daddy. And now in the morning chilling here. What a lifestyle, isn't it? There's life in my nursery, guys. I want to show you. Here are jackfruit seeds. We're gonna plant them soon. Bella woke up. Hello, my girl. How are you doing? How are you doing? Sleeping all night, no barking. Good girl. What a good girl. Here's action. Here's morning action, guys. Look at this, guys. I'm gonna show you in a bit how I built this. Here I have my dragon fruit babies. <coughs> and there's a hose here. We have running water. All of this you will see in this video how we connect the water and how I planted this pole here where my dragon fruit is gonna climb and fruit. Beautiful morning, guys. See you in a bit. Hello Bodo, hello and welcome to the change.world. My name is Robert. We are here on an adventure to connect our hose from the waterfall. So the pre-owner is here, he's gonna show me how to do that. And we are walking here through the jungle. Bella, come here, gonna go. Guys, it's gonna be nice. We are now on the way to the second waterfall. Wow, I haven't been, I haven't been here. First time for me too. Wow, bastante madeira. Wow. Más arriba. We need to go higher, and over there is the connection. Now you can see my house from here. Okay, Roland, ¿qué haces? What? ¿Qué haces? Para captar agua, pues. Para captar la huica. ¿En dónde filtro? Filtro rústico de por acá de la zona. Esa, esa filtro rústico es una malla, ¿no? Una malla y acá un sonido. Okay, look, empezamos acá. Mm -hmm. Here we're gonna build a little pond and then the water will be sucked in through the filter. Let's see what he's doing. He's getting some stuff. Uh, hojas, para llenar. They know all the techniques. So with the leaves, you're gonna fill the holes and then the water gonna be blocked. And then we're gonna have water down there with a lot of pressure. Bodu, what do you think about this? It's a good technique, isn't it, Bodu? It's a good technique. Bella, what do you think? Also good, no? So yeah, this is how it's done. Fresh water from the waterfall. Let's see his technique. He got leaves. So he's making a seal out of these leaves. Because the waterfall is always transporting a lot of sand and rocks. Later on the rocks and sand gonna fill it. And then here gonna be a pool. So the water is connected. And, wow, I like this path a lot. This is neighbor's property here, it's not mine anymore. And somewhere here they want to build a road to go to the other side on this hill, he told me. 
So somewhere here, they're going to build a road. Cochita. Guys. Necesito cochillo o necesito uh, abrazador? Desarmador plano. Ajá, plano. tengo. Plano. Plano es, mira. Good Swiss Army knife. We're connecting this stuff. Wow, I love it. Oh la la! Agua de Catarata! This is pure luxury guys, we have running water straight from the... straight from the waterfall here. This morning I washed the dishes uh, manually. It means I was carrying water in, in, in canisters, in, in big bottles. Ah, que bueno! And now we have uh, running water luxury here. Rico. So we have water. Now, next step is to understand my land. So he's basically showing me now the spots where I have avocados. Here I have lemongrass. Ah, bueno. Lemongrass. I'm gonna plant this around the house because this repels mosquitoes and sand flies. Ooh, a lot, a lot of lemongrass. Okay guys, let's plant some dragon fruits. Okay guys, so I planted in this post pretty strong. Nothing is moving here. This dragon fruit babies, they're gonna climb up this pole. Here is a second knot coming in. So once this guy is big, I'm gonna tie him on again. We have two red pitahayas, they call them in Peru, pitahaya, and one yellow one here. So this guy's gonna grow. When you plant dragon fruits, make sure this pole is as solid as concrete in because the dragon fruit gets very heavy. Once they reach the top, they're gonna spread the branches and the fruit's gonna hang here later on. So here we have our dragon fruits ready to go. Here Yesterday I planted goldenberry, uh, maybe you know it, uh, it's called Fisalis, goldenberry. So here are gonna be four goldenberry bushes coming out. And just underneath I plant corn. So I soaked corn and I basically just threw it on the ground. My experience here in the subtropics, tropics, they're gonna come pretty well just being tossed on the ground so when it's not gonna rain in the next few days I'm gonna go and water the ground and in a week or so we're gonna have little corn coming up here I cleaned the area of the the chicken area and planted corn here too 
So the chickens gonna harvest their own corn and also eat the sprouts of the mice. So here in the next video we're gonna take care of the chicken. But as I promised you last time, in this video we're gonna finish with transplanting more platanos. Let's go to the platanos that are already in. I mulched them all and watered them and also gave them some nutrients in form of chicken manure. So this is still not enough platanos for me here so we're gonna get some more and plant more platanos. Here we have a platano viaco they call it. Pretty big plantains. So this plant has a few children ready to be harvested. So we're gonna take out a few of these guys, clean and mulch this plant. Okay guys, so when harvesting this Suckers, we call them. They're always connected to the mother. So here is a pretty solid connection. There's another baby coming out here. We need to separate this connection between the baby and the mother. I'm using my favorite tool for that. Basically, I'm gonna poke in here. First, disconnect the mother from the child. Okay, then we're gonna go and take out the baby with all its root system. Okay. Beautiful. So, we even have this little baby here. So we harvested this platano with a lot of roots. It's gonna be very easy for him or her to get back to life in a new spot. That's how it's done. Okay guys, so I'm gonna um, dig a hole here. One rule, very logical, permaculture is very logical. One rule that fits for all if you want to plant stuff. The bigger the hole, the looser the soil, the easier the plant gonna get into the ground, the faster it's gonna grow. So if you just dig a little hole and you let the roots do all the work going through hard soil, it's going to take a while until the plant is going to thrive. So I got into the habit of making the hole bigger than necessary and trying to crunch up the soil to make it really, really fluffy. So here we're going to plant platano. Bella, go back please. Gracias. So as the platanos have a pretty good root system, the hole needs to be big. Fits in nicely and then with the soft soil we cover. The fluffier the soil, the faster the roots gonna develop. The more air and oxygen is in the root system. So yes, plants also need air in the roots also needs oxygen in the root system so if there's, too, if there's too much water in the ground no oxygen we like this fluffy stuff here that's good stuff the 
Very nice. Platano in. Okay guys, final step. Give the platanos some water. This one I need to mulch a little bit more. Some welcome drink for our new platanos. That's the biggest one here, biscocho. My favorite Peruvian platano. It's a good soak here. Good soak here. Good soak here. So guys, that's for today. Thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching. Subscribe my channel. Share my videos. Tell your friends about it. And next time we're gonna dig in even more. Bye bye. Greetings from Peru.